zippity doo -da. beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone, this is Chris Brown here again. Now, uh, if you've taken my advice, uh, again, what, what we suggest you to do is we suggest you to create enough blog articles in order for Google and the search engines to send you enough traffic to generate anywhere from about 2,000 to about 5,000 visitors a day. Um, so as you've been seeing throughout this video series, I've been doing this along with you. So I created a hundred blog posts before I was generating 2,000 visitors a day, but that was only my first day. I put 40 more blog articles on my blog that very day, and the next day I was up to 9,999 visitors the very next day. So, uh, and then even yesterday I did uh, almost 15, uh, almost 14,000, 13,997 visitors yesterday. So now I need to go ahead and do this too. I need to set up my blog so not only does it look professional, it looks good, but I also need to go ahead and start setting up my income streams, okay? So let's go ahead and do this with you. Now this video ideally um, most likely will be for those who are brand or who already have an existing business. Um, but if you're brand new, you could also use this as well. And you just may have to think on your toes a little bit more and I'll kind of uh, guide you uh, as we go through this. So come on, let's come with me. So we're going to go over to our posts and we're going over to all posts and we're going to edit some of the blog posts that we've already created, right? So this blog post that we've been working on is our free government money to start a home-based business. So we'll go ahead and click on that. But it's not a home-based business, it's any business really. And, you know, and this is some of the things that you uh, you may be qualifying for too because whatever you're doing you know if you do have a job now you're starting the blog you can get a bailout check from anywhere from about three hundred to five hundred dollars per month basically what it means is just means that you're able to, to take home more of your take-home pay you know before they were taking a lot more taxes than they were before now you get to keep more of that that's all that basically means uh, but it's just a fancy way of saying it uh, putting some pizzazz, as one of my clients, Sam Chan, says, I just put pizzazz on, on the words. So let's scroll down here. Here's the picture. Now, like I said, one of the things that we want to do is we want to have uh, ads on our blogs, you know, for some of our different type of products and services. So within the blog post itself. So one of the ways that I suggest to do this, and I'll show you some different ways on how we'll do this as we go on here. Um, but what I would do is I will put, let's say, sponsor, sponsors, and I will create your ad, create an ad right here. So you could put whatever your headline is here, um, and you can just put it, create it as a website link to go to your website, or you could go, or you could. Um, use it to you know put your phone number or however it is that you want to do do with it um, if you are brand new to bit or if you are an already existing business you just might want to just put a simple headline and put your website address and then which you'll link it to your website address and then you'll link this over to uh, put your phone number in there as well now, if this is all new to you, or even if you do have an already existing business, if you have an idea of where you're taking this blog, we can actually start creating the ads now. So one of the things that we're gonna do here is, um, is I have a site specifically for Disney. So I could say, use your bailout check, or let's say use your stimulus program to take a Disney World vacation. Then get the most out of your Disney World vacation. Click here. Uh, I, 
actually start deleting too much of that. Okay, let me get. Okay, use this. And get the most out of your Disney World. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is my ad here, I'm going to highlight all of this. And this is where we're going to put our link. But the problem is I don't even have a website for this as of yet. So that's a problem. That's a big, big problem. So um, how are we going to resolve this? I'll tell you. This is how we're going to resolve this. So I already have a domain name. You already have a domain name as as uh, as well, and we'll show you how to do this completely as we go through here. But I'm going to put my website. So my website, my domain name, let's just say that is ProStarProfits.com. A lot of you already know that, okay? Um, but like I said, I do not have a website geared for this particular uh, program that that we're having or this product that we're creating. So here's what I need to do is I will just put Disney World. It's not created, but I just need to keep in mind that later when I create this website, I just need to keep that in mind. Okay. So I'll put open this in a new window and add link. And it does look kind of small, but I think it'll be it'll it'll be big enough to see once I publish it. So I'm gonna click update and I'm gonna publish this. And we'll wait for it. Okay, so it's all I, it's all published now. So I come back over here to actually look at it online. And as you can see here, uh, so here's what what happens: a person is reading, scrolling down, reading this. Here's here's a picture, and then right underneath of it, sponsor. Uh, use this stimulus program to take to take a Disney World vacation. Get the most out of your Disney World vacation. Click here. There's our ad. Now, obviously, if I click on that ad, like I said, nothing is going to be there. There's nothing even there right now. Um, okay. So later on, when we go ahead and and uh, create this website, that's the web. That's the web address that I need to put it on. Okay. Um, but for right now, it, it really doesn't matter what I do with it right now. Okay, so anytime I have a blog post or anything like that, I can put that. Now I'm going to probably put multiple ads and multiple articles in most cases. Um, but you now know how, how to do this, and uh, so you can go, you yourself can now go ahead and start implementing this into your blog. Okay, but I do hope this information has been helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye bye now.